There's John Beaver, Doc Beaver. He's just to the east of us. The ring man's with me. The waves are too big. The steps would be right here. <laughs> That's so much sand is pushed up here. Damn, I don't like these waves. Hey. I think I'm going on this side. Well, we've been here about 15 minutes. No targets yet. Then he got a nice beer, dra beer glass, draft glass. I got a couple of pieces of iron sounds. I see the guru just came in. Eighteen million dollars worth of sand they're going to put on the beach. See the paper last night on the news. All through here. Seven miles of sand. They're going to make this beach 60 foot wide. So the cave will be completely dried up. 60 foot will be to the end of the cave. That's a lot of sand. Stand by. I charged a battery on the X-Cow last night. I bought her today. Give my arm a break from that, from that damn piece of lead. X-Cow. Stand by. Well, I don't know what this is going to be, but it's the first low sound I had. It's the only really good sound I had this morning. You don't expect much in 15 minutes, you know. much for rocks. Could be a bullet. It sounds like a I don't know. Let's take it up here in the sand and dump it out. Not in a pile. Must have fallen out. Probably a 22. A lot of 22s on this beach. I got the little scoop too with the holes, you know, not the teeny holes, but the M, uh, shit, I got so many, I don't remember. M10, I guess. Well, we're taking our stuff and we're going to make a move. Like one penny and a brass screw for me. I'm headed to the western. We're going to Sparkplug Beach. See what that looks like. Okay, ain't been no worse than that ball spot we just left. Well, we got about a block to go to the pipe. You can see the pipe over there. We stopped in this little spot here. Some gray matter, pull tabs, odds and ends. At least something to dig as we go that way. Stand by, we'll see how we make out. Oh, I changed the detectors and scoops. I got the uh, 920iX and the e track. I mean, uh, what do you call this thing? The uh, CTX. We got a 1030 right here. Let's see what that is. 1030, that's probably a piece of gray matter. Come out of there, Taquito. A lot of rocks here. Damn, a bad luck. Get in there, baby. Okay, we got that big rock out of the way. We got it, whatever it is. 1030. I don't see no gray matter. I see some big piece of crap looking thing. Look, look at that. I knew I didn't like 1030. Yep, 
That was it for sure. Okay, stand by. Ringman said he just dug seven dimes in one little circle right there. Not in the same spot, but in a circle. About eight foot circles. Seven dimes. I knew there's some targets right here. Stand by. Well, we finally got to Spark Plug Beach. Some uh, class hunters. See what we can find here. Stand by. Roundup, <clears throat> Rancho Max. Gray Matter was the best of it for me. Unknown date, weedy. Glad quarter, glad penny. The best of it might have been this screw in this piece of wood, this brass screw. A nice chain. few tabs. Might see you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. I'm going to add uh, Denny's uh, Indian head and his mercury dye from yesterday to the end of this. And if I get anything else from anybody else, I'll add it to it. We heard Beaver got two silver quarters. Maybe a junk rig. That's the only report I got. Denny was like me, he didn't have much. Except those dimes. Good luck. Let's see you. I'll show you a few finds that some of the guys have made. It's hard to see this, but it's a button. It's got four one on it. It's been determined to be a 41st Regiment French button from the 1700s. And they, 41st Regiment, actually fought in the Battle of Yorktown, whatever date that was. That's a really nice button right there, I can tell you. It used to be as old as it is. All right, let's see what else we got here. Stand by. That's Denny's uh, Mercury Dime. Oh, I can't turn it that way, I forgot. <laughs> oh, maybe I can. Oh, yeah, there you go. 1938, it looks like. That was from uh, Sunday. This is Indian Head Penny. Nineteen oh eight. That's Doc Beaver's uh, two silver quarters and ring today that he found. I don't know the dates on the quarters. That's his nut. Look at that. Look, two pocket knives. Uh, fishing lure, merle lure. They call them merle lures. <laughs> That's a couple of tool rings that Big John found from Williamsburg. Yeah, I guess that's it. The guy who found the button found uh, a nice gold ring that day too with some diamonds in it, but I can't find the pictures of them. Man's ring, nice ring. <laughs>